What's going on? Perfect. I got snakes in my bag. 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 I merely rocked in my bag. What's going on? It's your boy Snack King calling. I am here, and I had to slide over here to Jamba Juice. Why? Because they got some new breakfast items on the menu, man, and I am excited about them. Uh, I used to work at this Mexican restaurant, and Jamba Juice was right across the street. And I used to go then, get a little surprise meals and stuff like that. But uh, I never just, like, just drove to a Jamba Juice. Jamba. I never just drove to a Jamba Juice for no reason. I guess I still didn't. Because my reason is these new breakfast items they have on the menu. They have the uh, the classic and they also have the impossible, and they also have the veggie bites. Classic is a sausage, egg, and cheese type situation. Obviously a classic breakfast item. Veggie bites also is an egg bite with veggies in it, I'm assuming. I don't know the details, people, but I know I did not get the impossible. So if the I like these, I'll tell you to go get the impossible if you're a vegetarian. But if these are trash, then I'm going to tell you to stay away. Because I can tell you what, these prices are redonkulous. The veggie bite is $5. And to quote the great Poppy Eats. Probably sick of hearing me say it, but I can get a whole box of food and a drink from Taco Bell for 7 bucks. 6 bucks with customizations, even, to get you up to 7 Or $5 if your location doesn't try to screw you out of an extra dollar. Like mine does. I, I, I don't I don't understand why these prices are so high, people. It's a pandemic. I'm broke. It's a surprise to me. Because they're both the same size. It don't even feel a difference. So that could be a good thing for the veggie bites, or that could be a bad thing for the classic. Here we have the veggie bites. This looks nothing like the picture, Jamba. This looks nothing. What is this? You can see the little veggies down there a little bit. There's a red one. Uh-oh. Hey, man, it doesn't have to look good to taste good. Let's break this bad boy open a little bit. Let's see if we can find some of that. I'm scared, man. I'm scared. Peep the inside of that bad boy. This is like mush in there, really. I can smell the vegetables. It smells good. Let's go away. It's like a handheld omelet. It's kind of yummy. Which makes it worse because I can go to IHOP and get an omelet for like four bucks. This is cool. Not blow your socks off cool. I still remember spending too much money. So that's how you know it's not there yet. But it's good though. Like I said, it's cool. I probably wouldn't run over here and get that for a buck though. Now, I did mess up, man, because the nice lady over there at Jamba Juice did tell me to put the hot sauce on here, but that probably would have tasted a little bit better with the hot sauce. Let's take a look at the sandwich. Now, I think the sandwich is about three something, which is weird because it has egg on it. Oh, but it was about three something. Looks like a little ciabatta torn up bread. As you can tell by the bottom, it was either ripped or cut or sliced or something. Sausage some cheese and an egg. All right, so we're gonna dive into this, man. This looks kind of good, actually. I'm not gonna front. A little small, but this was also only $3, I believe. Something like that. You can't really mess this up, but this is already way better than that egg bite. 100%. That shit on your lip got Get on this lip, dog. This is pretty tasty. It, it tastes like um, almost like Burger King breakfast. Mmm. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, that body. That got your boy lean back. 
boy. Woo! But I don't even know how much that costs, but I'll go get another one right now. Not even thinking. I know it was less than that 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 veggie bite. And that veggie bite just became trash. Just became trash compared to that. And that was cheaper. Listen, people. I don't know. That impossible probably probably is good, man. Um, this tasted better than... Did I just have a breakfast sandwich from somewhere? Where was that? Was that Jack in a crack? One out of five. Uh, for the for the veggie bite, man, that, that's... that's. I'll give that about a two, man. The flavors were there, man, but the price point, trash. The, and, and it just it, it's just mush in the middle. You know what I mean? So I'll give it a two for that. But unless you uh, got your STEMI t- check today... You, you, you leave them alone. When it comes to the classic, though, the classic, I'm giving a four, easily. I mean, you can't really mess it up. It has it in the name classic, but people can. And I and I think my, my four might be a little bit hindered on the fact that I just had that veggie bite, which I didn't really enjoy, and I actually enjoyed that. So it could, it could be in between a three and a half and a four, but I'm going to say four right now. I'm going to give it its just due. I'm going to give it its props. I'm about to go do another review for you guys right now. Uh, that would probably be out before this one. So, you know what I mean? Same shirt, gang. It's your boy, Snack King Cole. I'll try it before you buy it. I tried it! Go buy it. Peace! Told him, do we want to get a candy out my way? I got the baby roof and all the Kit Kats, too. So if you got a sweet tooth, holla at me, dude. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>